I'm wondering, I'm very often I'm wondering if my uh, consideration to certain aspect of moderating uh, goes into the right direction uh, or not. I think the right people to ask that question is the public. Mm. To me, Grand Prix racing is a show. It has to be spectacular. The judges, to know if it's a success or not, it's up to the public or the fan who like motor racing. And you can count up the number of people in the grandstand, for example, or you can uh, count the viewers on TV, and you can say, well, we had 300 million viewers for the Grand Prix. They are the people you have to ask that question, really, because that passion and the fact that they are coming, it's the engine of that show. If you have less spectators or if you have less viewer, viewers, that means your show is not good or less good. Um, the question today is to know, uh, the question today, the aim of the government body and the clerk of the course and many different components is to reach is to reach the the goal of having motor racing 100% safe does it work if you have something 100% safe rule ruled as uh, uh, a traffic a traffic mobility I don't know if it will be uh, if the philosophy of motor racing will be still in is it going to be attractive or not I don't know it's only you who can judge or the public in my opinion but um, you have good Grand Prix, you have some exciting Grand Prix, um, you have Grand Prix where there is a lot of action into it. Yesterday, it's a fantastic, they're all talented, it was a fantastic win for Hamilton, but honestly, nothing happened in that race. Other, that means, it was 61 lap, not very exciting. The action was only between the 12th, the 30th, uh, or between, for the seventh place, there were three cars. But globally, everybody stays in his position. Hamilton control, uh, control uh, Max Verstappen. Um, Sebastian Vettel finished third, but he was not in contention with anyone. So, on that aspect, I was a little bit disappointed, but you cannot produce a good show every time. The important thing, in my opinion, uh, for Singapore, for example, oh, it's a unique Grand Prix, it, there are some similarities with Monaco in Singapore. It's a city race course. And also, they were the very first one to have a, a Leibniz Grand Prix. It was a real challenge, not only to build a race course in the city, but being able to make, to make it by night. Mm. It was an experience, they, but they show every, the whole world it was possible. It's convenient now for Singapore to have it by night, because during the day it's fairly warm, and now the European or Western countries can follow the Grand Prix as well at the normal time. So you have much more viewers at the end, you have Asia on one side, the Western on the other side. And um, 
is becoming a, a, a mythic track. Mm. It's a, a town track. Um, it's not as difficult as Monte Carlo because Monte Carlo is even much more narrower. And I did it for eight years already. Yeah? But the track at Monte Carlo, it's really narrow. Here you still have some some space, some exits, uh, but it works because you have done it for 11 years now. Mm. It works. You are part of uh, you are part of the show really. Yeah. And for people who are not knowing Singapore well, it's a nice visit. It's a nice goal to come for the Grand Prix because you have all the surrounding, which oh, is very fascinating as well. Huh? Yes. 